Hey guys and gals, I'm Sonic Arrow, and this is a replay sent in from Lord Awesome 7 in the tier 8 German premium heavy tank, the Löwe or the Lion, which I will uh, call it from now on. And this is one of the first premium vehicles to be put into the game, and it's still very good. It does not get any preferential matchmaking, which is standard for the new premium vehicles as well. Uh, but this vehicle was designed to not have uh, any premium matchmaking when it was first put into the game. It is quite slow though. Oh, here we go. You might actually be seeing something. Very good cannon. It is a 105mm cannon with 234mm of penetration and 320 of damage. However, the rate of fire is uh, a bit slow. Five rounds per minute. So it's uh, it's adequate, I suppose. It's got a lot of penetration for it, and it does fairly well versus almost anything. Oh, wait for that reload. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the accuracy is 0 0.33, and it has eight degrees of gun depression and 38 degrees of gun elevation. Okay, he actually did get the kill there. That's good. Ammo capacity of 80 rounds in total, which is very nice. You won't be running out of ammunition too often. You might run out if, perhaps, uh, you have to do the damage to every single enemy player. Uh, then... Oh, is he gonna sink a shot through there? No. Okay, but... He's getting platoon invites as well. Interesting. Now of all times, he gets a platoon invite. Oh, can he bounce? Uh, right, the armor. It's 122... 120 millimeters thick on the front of the hull. And the turret... Although that one went straight through, but that was the side armor. Side armor is 80 millimeters thick on the turret and 80 millimeters at the rear. Uh, with the hull armor being 100 millimeters thick on the side and 80 millimeters at the rear. So it's actually fairly well armored. Oh, and he's gonna... I'm not sure what he was doing there, but... <laughs> he got his fuel tanks hit, but now he's reverse side scraping. And he's bounced. Excellent. So, look at this long, long reload. Okay. Very long reload, 400 meter view range and 710 meter signal range, which is standard for the German vehicles, at least the tire tiered ones. Oh, there's a Conqueror, not paying attention. Oh, he's just noticed. And the aim time, 2.8 uh, or 2.9 seconds around there. So it's actually pretty long. He has platoon with the FCM 50T, taking a sh nice shot through the bricks, which does lessen the penetration a little bit, but it, it's just so much of it, it doesn't really matter. Also, the mantlet on the turret is actually very good. It could bounce a few things, given its shape. And let's see... Is that... Oh no, that's a Scorpion G. Which is an interesting by its, uh, vehicle by itself, but it doesn't have a lot of armor. And it's done. That bad chat just took him out. Now, being a German vehicle, this does get set on fire quite a bit. Uh, there was one shot into the side of the vehicle, which already damaged the fuel tank, so another shot into the same place will most likely uh, set the vehicle on fire. And the engine, if taken out, means that you will be extremely slow. All right, so there's the T-34. That is basically the brother of the Lion. It came around with the same uh, kind of characteristics, I guess? Uh, I don't know what to say. It's basically uh, a tier 8 he premium heavy tank and no premium matchmaking, which was... These were the only two that were in the game for a pretty long time. Oh, and <laughs> the T-34 is doing a lot more damage, 400 alpha damage on that vehicle, but the hull armor not that great. So can his reload beat it? He can, but the alpha damage isn't good enough. 
So unfortunately, the T-34 does have enough alphanage to take out Lord Awesome over here. So perhaps he can bait a shot into the tracks, which is nice. And he repairs it as quickly as he can. So he can just come around and casually put a shot with no fear of uh, return fire. That was an ace tanker with high caliber and brothers in arms with 1,536 points of experience earned, 5 kills, 4,764 damage done to the enemy with 18 shots fired, 18 hits, unfortunately only 17 penetrations but still a credit earnings of 119,000 with a premium account, non-premium only 71,700 but that's okay. It's still a premium vehicle and it makes very good credits. So thanks for watching, please press that like button, leave some comments, and I will see you in future videos.